Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to learn about how to use SP Editor to write service logic using Graph API. So this is our learning assignment 17. Here we will learn about implementation of the service layer using Graph API. So let's look into the topic. What are the topics we are going to cover? So guys, these are the topics which we are going to learn in this session. So we will start with the task 1 where we can open the SPE editor and then we will perform task 2 where we will implement the code to create list item functionality then we will perform task 3 where we will implement code to read list item functionality then we will perform task 4 where we will implement code to update list item functionality and at last we will perform task 5 where we will implement code to delete item functionality so all these functionality we will write in SPE editor so let's jump into the SPE editor so guys to open the SPE editor we have to go to the Chrome browser and where we can access any of the SharePoint site because we must have to be inside the SharePoint context so that our SPE editor can grab that context from the browser so that the reason we must have to open any of the SharePoint site inside the Chrome browser. Next you have to install the SP editor extension which I have already shown in one of the session. Once you've done that then you have to press Ctrl Shift I to open the developer tool. So now I have opened the developer tool and over here you have to click on this arrow key and then you will get the SharePoint option. Once you do that, then you will find many of the options within SPE Editor. I am going to use Graph SDK Console version 2.2.1 and over here we will write our logic. So now you will see it over here. It has given us some of the pre-written program. We are going to leverage this code and on top of it we will write our piece of code. So let's start writing the code for creating item within the list and the list we are going to use is the event registration so this is the list we have been following since the beginning of the course so we are going to use the same list where we can insert the record with the help of graph api within sp editor so let's start writing the code and over here i am going to remove this piece of code instead of that i am going to write my piece of code to perform the create operation within the list so to do that i am going to create some of the variable the first variable I am going to create is called web URL. If you remember that we have created the graph API URL and to form that graph API URL I need to create some variable where we will store some of the constant. So over here I will define something called web URL and then over here I need to specify my site collection URL. So what is our site collection URL? This is our site collection URL. I will grab this, copy this one and I will paste it over here. Make sure that you are going to remove this HTTPS. Now next we need to define the variable to hold the list ID. So how we will grab the list ID you already aware that but first I need to define the variable over here. I will tell list ID and then I will grab the list ID. If you remember that to grab the list ID we need to go inside the list setting and then we need to go to the address bar and from that address bar we need to grab the list ID. So let me perform again the same step. First I will make the duplicate and then I will go to the list setting over here. I will go to the list settings and then we will get the list ID. So if you will look into that you have to grab this list ID. Make sure that you are not grabbing %7b and %7d that is encoded version of curly braces that I already mentioned. So you need to copy till 2f. I will copy it. This is my list ID. You must be having different list ID for your case. And I will go back over here. I will put double quotes and then paste it. So now we have done with the second step. Now next I am going to define another variable that is called request URL. And with the combination of web URL and the list ID, I am going to form the graph API URL to use it within the program. So how I will do that? Let's look into that. First I will define let request URL. And over here I will tell request URL equal to I will use the template string if you want to learn about template string you have to go through one of my course learn modern JavaScript step by step that you can check in my profile anyway let's write over here backslash sites backslash then I will put dollar sign so whenever if I want to use the dynamic value from the variable I will put the dollar sign with the curly braces start and stop and within that we can specify our variable over here I will mention web URL next I need to mention the colon if you remember that we have to follow this standard once we do that then we need to specify lists 
and then we need to again put the dollar and the curly braces start and stop and over here we have to specify the list id so i will mention list id once it is being done we want to specify items over here because we want to play with the items so i need to specify items over here once it is being done we are done with the graph api url creation so this is our endpoint url for graph api so guys this is our create operation now next i am going to create the item object where we will specify the values for each of the respective columns on which we want to insert the data so let's do it i will come over here i will create another variable that is called item object equal to i want to insert the value for title so i will tell that new item from graph api demo then i want to specify email i will tell that temp at abc.com make sure that you are putting comma over here and then you have to specify batch i will provide the batch value over here it is batch one then level of knowledge over here i will specify beginner so that's it so these four values we wanted to put inside our sharepoint list so guys so far we have done with the creation of the graph api url we have completed the object creation for our list item because this object being used by the rest api as we are going to perform the post operation so we need to send this object with graph api request so now i am going to hit the endpoint so how we will do that let's look into that so let's write it i will tell let items equal to await and over here i will specify client dot api and within api we need to specify the graph api url which we have built that is our request url so let's copy it paste it over here and then we need to write dot post i want to perform post operation and within this post operation i want to send this object which we have created so copy this one paste it over here once it is being done we are done so now let's press ctrl d to execute it so let's so let's press ctrl d and over here it will ask for the consent it has automatically taken because we are already logged in into the browser and our browser has the context so now let's go inside the sharepoint list and let's look whether it has inserted or not whether it has created the list item or not which we have specified over here so let me increase the size better we will go to this list over here and click on event registration and over here you will see that it has inserted blank value that is because we did a mistake so let's correct that one but first let me delete it i will go here and click on delete so now let's fix the issue i will come back so what mistake we did so the mistake we did is that it is not at the appropriate format which graph api endpoint is expecting so the graph api endpoint is expecting the fields object so over here we need to mention fields and then over here you need to specify and within that we need to send so now we are telling that this object the object which we are sending it contains the fields object and that fields object holds the value which we want to insert so this is the mistake we did in earlier now we have corrected it by providing the wrapper around it that is called fields now you must be asking that how do i come to know about this that is from the documentation i will show you that documentation and the documentation is this one so guys you can access this documentation and over here you will see that to create an item we must have to wrap it within the fields object and within that we need to specify the value for each of the respective column so now let's go back once we done the changes we will run the control d with the help of control d we will execute the program so now let's go back to the sharepoint list and verify it and this time you will see that we are getting the value over here so whatever the value which we have passed and that is the value it gets inserted over here so now this time you will find that it has inserted the value over here you will see that it has inserted the value which we have passed from our spe editor so now we are done with the create operation using graph api within spe editor so let's go back so now we are done with the create operation and let's now perform the read operation but prior to that i am going to take the backup of this particular code so that we will use it in our upcoming session where we will write the service layer in spfx using graph api so let me grab this code and paste it somewhere else as a backup you can perform the same we will come over here copy this piece of code and paste it inside the notepad let me grab this code go back to the notepad and over here i will paste it now we are done with the create operation let's proceed further and perform the read operation 
read operation I'm going to keep all the code same only this portion of the code I am going to remove it because it is not required for read operation so I will remove it and I am going to define another variable called columns I will tell const columns and which columns we want to read that I need to specify and I am going to tell I want ID, title, email, batch, batch, level of knowledge. So now we have specified the columns name. Now next we need to prepare the graph query URL. So over here we need to specify after items. You can put the question mark and tell that expand equal to fields. And then we need to specify parenthesis open and close and within the parenthesis we need to specify select and over here equal to then put dollar curly braces start and stop and within that we need to specify the variable name that we have created that is called columns which holds all the columns information we which we want to read so once it is being done then i will come over here and from post to get we need to change it to the get operation because we are performing the get operation and over here we will choose get then do the console log console dot log items so over here we have specified we have created a variable and within that we are getting all the results and that results we are printing so let's run it now press control d then you will see that it has returned us the output if you will see it over here let me grab this code and let's go to the visual studio code to show you properly copy this one let's go back to the visual studio code and over here i am having a t.json which is a blank json file and i will paste it over here and once you paste it over here then you will find that it has returned us the value this is the last value which we have created that is new item from graph api demo and that is what it is pulling now we are done with the read operation now let's perform the update operation so let's go back so guys now we are going to perform the update operation for update operation i am going to write update over here and for update we need to specify the item id on which item we want to perform the update operation if you remember that the last item which we have created is the 42 the id is 42 we are going to manipulate this particular item so let's do it so i will come over here i will create another variable called const item id equal to 42 so this is what we want to manipulate then we are going to change the graph url and with the and over here we need to specify the item id after items i need to tell i will remove all this one because this is for the read operation now we will write it for update operation after items i need to specify which item for that I need to specify dollar and within that we need to specify item ID for this particular item I want to perform the update operation and then we need to specify the fields so this is our graph query for update operation with the update operation we need to specify the request body and the request body holds the data which we want to update so over here I will specify let item object let me grab the code which we have written earlier i will come over here and let me grab this piece of code just copy this piece of code and go back and over here i will come back paste it and this time we don't need to specify the fields over here because we want to update the fields value and that is what we are already mentioning inside our url if you will see that over here we are specifying the field and which fields we want to update we can specify it over here for example if we want to update only the batch field i will come over here and remove all the data which we don't want to update and over here i will remove this one also i want that the batch should be two so currently if you will look into this then you will find that this guy is at batch one now we want to update it to batch two so let's go back so now once we have defined the request body now we have to change this operation to the update so we are going to perform the update operation so we will specify the update operation and what thing we want to update that object we have to specify over here and the object which we have created is the item object over here item obg now we are done so now let's run it Control d so now let's go back and let's verify it i will come back over here and you will see that it has updated to batch 2 earlier it was batch 1 now we have updated with the help of graph api query within spe editor we have updated this value from batch 1 to batch 2 now let's go back so guys we have done with the create read update operation the last operation which we are going to perform is the delete operation so for the delete operation everything remains same 
the only thing which is going to change is this request URL from the request URL we need to remove this fields and over here this we are going to remove it and then over here we will remove this update operation it should be delete operation choose delete over here and then we will run it so now let's run it over here we are passing the 42 once you press ctrl D then the expected output is it should delete this particular record whose ID is 42 so let's do it ctrl D now let's go back and verify it so let's go back and over here you will see that it has gone so now we are not getting any kind of a record whose ID is 42 so let's refresh it again and verify it and you will see that there is no record with ID 42 and this is what I wanted to demonstrate you how to use SPE editor to perform all the operations create read update delete using graph API so that you can validate all your service layer logic inside the SPE editor before actual implementation of the service layer using graph API. So on this note, I am stopping over here. In the next session, we will write the service layer using graph API in SPFX. So see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Take care.